and let's go with the next chapter to be written in the book of Shakur Stevenson. Shakur Stevenson, who is co-managed by our ESPN broadcaster, Andre Ward, who has recused himself from calling the fight. So it's Joe Tessitore and Tim Bradley. Glad you're with us here. The return of live boxing under COVID-19 protocols. Stop, stop, stop. Timmy, what are you going to be looking for early on here? You know what, right now, it's funny because I like what I'm seeing from Kyle, Kyle Bio right now. He's pressing on the gas pedal, you know, taking risks. He's going to have to sell out, and he knows that, and he's getting right to Shakur Stevenson at the moment. It's exactly what he said he would do, and likely exactly what he has to do if he wants to hit the lottery ticket at all as a massive underdog against Stevenson. As he gets into that pocket. Yeah, when you... Well, hands free, hands free. Yeah, Tess, when you fight against a slippery stop. fighter like Shakur Stevenson, you want to hit him anywhere, anywhere you can, on the shoulders, on the elbows, on the chest. You just want to continue to get contact on him. You know, that's a great point, Tim, and sometimes it's grossly undervalued in what you say. Just land, just throw, yeah. just try to get anything going. You always talk about that no, ability to find perfect range and distance with Stevenson. He gets off a four-punch combination, including a right hand to the body. That was effective. Carbio just sitting a little bit too long in the front, not moving in. And then, like I said, Shakur Stevenson, great at managing distance with, from his opponent. And he can fight at any quarter. He can fight in the pocket. He can fight at mid-range, and he also can fight outside. But right now, he's being an aggressive dog. Look at the hand speed on Stevenson. Tremendously You know, you can just tell right ball. away, Tess, you're right. You're right, the hand speed. You can see the skill level is different. But Carabao, you can tell he's tough. He's taking a lot of leather on the way in just to get one shot. Reminder, fanless atmosphere with COVID-19 protocols at the MGM Grand Conference Center, but you hear the murmur in the background, and you can join in that with Hear Me Cheer on any device. Go to ESPN.HearMeCheer.com. You will hear your voice, your cheers heard live during our broadcast. That is ESPN.HearMeCheer.com. That is being ruled a knockdown by Tony Weeks. There's a possibility, Tess, that their feet got tangled because that typically happens when you have a right-handed fighter versus a southpaw. You see the lead feet, they line up on the, on the same side. Every time Caraballo sits there with the earmuffs on and sits mid-range and don't do anything, you see what Shakur Stevenson does Go right to him and land and throw the co combinations. First round landing 22 of 47 power punches thrown. Yes, Tess, I thought that their feet might have got tangled up. But you can see here, Caraballo putting those earmuffs on, blocking his vision. And you see Shakur Stevenson doubling up with the left hand, with the, actually his lead hand to the head and also to the body, which causes a knockdown. Doubling up that right hand, the right hand to the body. Scoring the knockdown in round number one. The accuracy is just sublime, Timmy. He's so accurate and effective in placing yes. his punches. And there is that power hand, the left hand to the body now. But you see where he's choosing to be. Shakur wants to be on the outside, he'll maintain out outside distance. If he wants to be on the inside, he can fight in close quarters as well. So if guys think that they're just going to come inside with this young man, no, you got something coming. He has great offense in the inside as well. Let's check in with Bernardo. Ooh, he oh, that hurt. right hand was clipping. He drove that right hand down, and now Stevenson has Caraballo in trouble. Left hand to the head. Showing that power, Tess. Taking those steps forward. Look at the hand speed, and now sitting down a little more and looking for the shot and finding it. exactly what he's doing right now. He's being patient right now, letting Carabao throw wildly. He's looking for the opening right now. Shakur Stevenson is. Creating a little space with that right hand. Just look in his eyes. See that laser focus on the target. 
So effective with that left hand moments ago. Lead left there, comes back with a check right hook. Three punch combination. That's Stevenson. exactly what he wanted, Tess. He wanted to get on the outside to land that backhand. That's the straight left hand. He wanted to get full extension on his punches to be able to hurt Caraballo. Carvalho stalking. Covered up and Shakur lets loose with the three punch combination. Yeah, but you see Carvalho just walking straight forward, not even shooting a jab to lead his action. And Shakur That's why he's it, taking so right much left on the so, way yes. in. And two will show power tonight against Caraballo. He has so far in that last round, second round, he landed 29 of 55 power punches thrown. When we talked to him about how he thought the fight would play out, Timmy, he said, I think I'll be able to set him up and size him up in three and then get rid of him in four. We're in three right here. Stop, stop, I got you, stop. In three right now. It's just a matter of time, Tess. You know, he softened him up, Caraballo. Hitting him down to the head and the body, he's catching him before he gets to where he needs to be to be successful, and that's the inside. Double left hand right there from Shakur Stevenson. This is target practice. Splitting the guard with that left hand, then wrapped it around, but more useful with the power hand, the left hand here against Caraballo. Carabao, have to say one you know, two yeah. mark, and we told you he had won five straight since his lone loss. He understood the gap in skill. He fully understands everything Shakur Stevenson is and what he perhaps isn't. And early on in this fight, he tried to put forth a strategy that would counter that. But Stevenson's so accurate, so skilled, and on target. Stevenson right now, he wants a knockout. You know, he told us in the fighter meeting, he said, you know, I want to sit down more on my shots. I want to press forward. I want to take a little bit more chances because I want to be impressive to the fans. Hands-free, hands-free. I think he has a very good understanding of who he wants to be in the sport. Yes. I made the comment that I do have to get guys out of there. Talked about the fact that he wants to be a star, not just a boxer. And that he wants to surpass what very... others have done in the sport without having to play the villain role. And that means to him being the best fighter and being entertaining. And this is a guy yeah, that shows who his maturation as a Yes, it does. Person, it gives you a does. sense of maturation. But also at 22 years old, and we've seen his body start to develop and change, winning a world championship at featherweight. I mean, you're talking about a guy who can go multi-divisional world championships, yes. you know, carrying weight upwards towards 140. Who knows, by the end of his career, 147. But you can start to see so that development, especially right here at 130 pounds. Yeah, you know, I asked him. Years with both an Olympic boxing medal and a world title. You see the power punches through three rounds, dominating form for the world champion. This a non-title fight at 130 pounds for Stevenson. He said, boxing is back. I want to be back with it. And first in the main event. Stop, stop. I got you. Of course, he was scheduled to fight. Back on March 14th, that would have been a title defense against Miguel Mariaga, but postponed due to that first week of the shutdown due to COVID-19. Let's go to Bernardo. Wally Moses is happy with the way Shakur Stevenson is boxing, but he wants him to continue to work the jab, go to the body, but not walk straight back. He wants to set him up as he comes forward and then walk him into a big shot. Wally Moses, the grandfather and trainer of Shakur Stevenson. They have a dynamic relationship. 
Come on, hands free, hands free. Yeah, that's what Shakur Stevenson needs to do. He needs to get back on the outside, use his jab, and Don't hold that you know, hand out like that. keep Carabao out outside. Make him rush, and make a mistake, and then make him pay so he can get a clear shot on him. Mark Kriegel, what say you? Coming to terms with monumental ambition. You know, he, he knows where he wants to get. He wants to be a household name. He wants to be the best guy in the sport. He wants to be, as Timmy said before, the future. The question is, how do you get there? I understand being a young kid and saying, I'm the next Floyd, I'm the next Sugar Ray. The question, though, and it's a, it's a pretty deep question, how do you get there without imitating someone else? And how do you get there if you are a slick fighter, a fighter of color, and and not not playing the villain this is this is a, a question that we dealt with earlier in the broadcast i um, mean and, it, and it's something that's going to uh confront shakur stevenson or he's going to have to confront make great fights be dynamic be entertaining and be you most importantly and that's what shakur has talked about and that's what andre has like talked about be authentically but, you. But the problem Shakur isn't him, Stevenson, the problem is the system. Shakur Stevenson is incredibly likable. Don't put the hand on yeah. him. Doing he truly is, really Cass. well to the body you know. here in this fourth round, Timmy. Yes, he is, and that's that's where he needs to go down and continue to soften up Carabayo. He's continue to beat on the body, beat on the arms to bring those hands down because Carabayo has a really tight defense. Burke from Shakur in that last round. Yeah, what I want to what I want to show you guys is is that look stop, at stop. how comfortable he is, even though he's getting his foot stepped on right here, his lead foot stepped on, but he found a way to tap, 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 get that right hand around to the hands body free, free. on Carabayo, and then follow up with a combination. See. That little half a step back, just a clear space to let Carabao throw and make a miss and then make him pay is the beauty. It's what I've been talking about. This is why this young man is so, so good. He does this all night long. Round number five in our scheduled 10 round non title fight. And Stevenson to this point has outlanded Carabao 85 to 12. He has landed 49% of his power punches. There's that threshold you talk about, Tim Bradley. You always say, hey, if you get 50% of power punches, there's going to be a knockout score. Yes, <laughs> that's right. Most of the time, Tess, you know, I like the head placement right there from Shakur Stevenson getting his head on the outside, not keeping it down the middle, so won't allow Carabayo to headbutt him. Just it's great the first main event of what will be the new look summer series of top-ranked boxing on mm. ESPN with the COVID-19 protocols. We are bringing you fights this month every Tuesday and Thursday, live fights on ESPN. And as was announced tonight, a special attraction on Saturday, June 20th from Mexico City with the 122-pound world champion, Emmanuel Navarrete. So next week, three nights of live fight action on ESPN. Yeah, hands free, hands free. And we'll be back with you Thursday. As you see, Jesse Magdaleno will be headlining against the NFL Vicente. Adam Lopez also on that card. And a very good-looking prospect in Brian Lua, who's now 5-0. and He will be in action Thursday night as we will turn right around and bring you more fights from Vegas. Carabao looking for body work on the inside instead. He eats a chopping right hand from Shakur. Stevenson backing up and able to land a left hand as he retreats. Now the uppercut on the inside as Carabao was leaning forward. Hold on the hand now. Stevenson continues with such, such success with these power punches. Carabao trying to dig to the body with a right hand. Carabao still not doing anything to get to where oh, he needs to be. Oh, what a combination, Timmy. Absolutely. You know, Tess, Shakur Stevenson fights when he wants to fight, gets out when he wants to get out, and box on the outside. 
We're right. You here with the sixth round of Shakur Stevenson and Felix Carabao. Shakur Stevenson, who is already a featherweight world champion in his 13th stop, stop, stop. pro fight. You. The second fewest fights required to do so in boxing history. Only the pound for pound best fighter in the world, Vasily Lomachenko, is better. Of course, he did it in three, which is ridiculous. May never see that beaten. By the way, Tim, in that last round, Shakur Stevenson was shaking out his left hand a bit after landing. You know what? That could be an indication that he, you know, he might have suffered an injury. You know, when you're hitting a guy on the forehead and hitting him on the top of his head constantly all night, you know, it definitely bruises your hand. Let's see if he continues to use his left hand in this round. Keep him up, baby. Keep him up. Keep him up. Nice sidestep right there time, from time. Corey Stevenson. But it was a little bit low. And thus, Tony Weeks giving the time to Carabao. I mean, are you good? Yeah, man. Are you good? Okay, here we go. Keep in. Time in. It's a nice sidestep right there from Shakur Stevenson. Right on the belt line. Oh, that was a little bit low. It was a little low there. Go hold on, hold on. Let him go. Let him go. Come on, hands free, hands free. A hopelessness with Carabao. He knew he would be outclassed, outskilled, and he goes down here there it is. in round number six, halfway through round six. And he's reeling Never in shot. pain on the canvas. Mm. As Shakur Stevenson One the placed moves. the money punch. And look at the reaction of Carabao. A one and done from Shakur Stevenson after six rounds of having it his way. Well, six rounds of punishment, Tess. Caraballo took. And finally, a body shot, a clear body shot landed right on the liver. Caraballo. That's why you heard him grimacing the way he was, because it was right in the soft spot of the body. Shakur Stevenson said, the expectation is I get rid of a guy like this. That's exactly what he set out to do. He put forth 218 power punches and landed 115.